what should I do? This decision every day. Now, I started quite well. I have been on my home trainer only 20 minutes because the time was a bit shorter. But before I even got out of bed, I did my bridge exercises. And it's really true. I just have to do them every day and my muscles will get stronger. I've been up the stairs once and did some balancing exercises on the balcony in the sun. I just love going out on the balcony when the sun shines. It's only a couple of hours in the morning, varying times, but before noon. So I really appreciated that in the sunshine because actually inside I've, had, I've turned the heaters off, but I'm feeling cold, so I'm all dressed up to keep warm. And I have set up my new computer and I'm working on my email settings. So you might wonder if you get emails from me if it's a different address that you're not used to, I'm, yeah, I've got three working emails, actually even four probably. And I was trying to narrow it down to the thumbgundaka.eu domain, which I haven't been able to configure onto the new computer. So I'm using webmail for that. And the Outlook on the computer uses Outlook, technical stuff, you don't need to know all that. Anyhow, what I wanted to share with you, what am I doing and what, how precious is my time? So I accepted a request to proofread some documents. I was determined I'm not going to get sucked into doing endless unpaid work, which takes all of my time. <laughs> and guess what? I've been in lots of meetings and I've got lots of other meetings in my calendar where nobody pays me for any of that. Even yesterday when I made a copy of the video and got a box of chocolates for it. Yeah, nice. <laughs> um, so what am I working on? I'm preparing a presentation for Sunday and... I only started on that once and need to taper it down way way down and clarify what I'm so I probably should focus on that yes instead of and so I guess I should reply to that email which asked about whether I'm prepared to do all of the translating and editing of these 30 missionaries testimonies for free um, no it's too time consuming and yet it's precious work which I appreciate and value and I believe it ought to be paid for. It ought to be honoured, especially the work of the missionaries themselves, the testimonies of their lives which they have given. Oh, it takes me back to my high school years when I did the the uh, the test. We, we went through... Um, you know, when you get guidance about what, what job you're suitable for and it was vocational training, it was vocational guidance it was called and a lot of my characteristics went into the missionary and they asked me whether I wanted to be a missionary I said no, no and they asked me why, whether the pay was important. This question is coming up in my life over and over and over and over again and I am convinced I want to do good and I really am not focusing on the money but I do believe that we should be taken care of right so I'm currently in a, in a sphere where there is quite a focus on the finances reflecting your success and your position and your frequency you know money is just a frequency so don't focus on your money and yet I am just so preoccupied with the moral aspects I really do not want to get involved in marketing things promising a quick fix and pushing people into purchasing something or donating to something before it's too late to lose the chance. I really don't believe in this hype 
even in a lot of the social marketing that takes place, and I believe a lot of the funnels that are being offered also operate with that type of quick, 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 quick pressure. And I don't, I don't want to be involved in that. I'm grateful for what I've got and where I am. Of course, I agree it would be great to have lots more money because then I could do lots more good. So uh, five minutes is up. I don't want to waffle on any longer. I just wanted to tell you where I am today. I'm really getting much, much better with my exercises. I really feel my muscles getting stronger. I'm doing knee bends for my knees now and that hurts. But it's obviously the right thing to do to strengthen the muscles. And tomorrow I go back to physiotherapy again. So, yes, spring is here. I'm really grateful for that. And um, see you next time.